Hello everyone, today we are starting section 7.5, which is lines and planes in three space. So let's do a problem here. Find a vector equation for the line passing through the point 1, which is 2, negative 1, 8, and point 2, 5, 6, 3. Now let's find the vector equation for it. And for that, first we'll have to find the A. So A here. Yeah, there are two methods to do it. So in the first method, you can do to find A, you can do 0.1 minus 0.2. So like, for example, this is 0.1 and this is 0.2. So you have to do 0.1 minus 0.2. So here, let's do this. This is 0.1. So 2, negative 1, 8, minus 5, 6, negative 3. Now, when you do this, so this becomes 2 minus 5, negative 1 minus 6, and 8 minus 3, which gives A equals to negative 3, negative 7, and 11. Oops, this is positive because negative, negative. So, A is this, and so the vector equation using this method, like P1 minus P2, would be, so we can write it like this, x, y, z equals 2. So we'll point, we will put here the point 1, and then a t, and then the vector a that we just found. Okay, so let me explain what I just did. So here... What I did is first I found uh, P1 minus P2, and which is my vector A, the difference between uh, a, uh, the point 1 and 2. So I write it here and put a T here. And then uh, this is the vector P, uh, P1, the point P1. So I used here P1 because I used P1 minus P2. But here, if I use the other method to find A, which is P2 minus P1. So here, if I do P2 minus P1, so let's do this. 5, 6, negative 3, minus 2, negative 1, 8. So here, which is 5 minus 2, 6. It's already a minus, so 6 plus 1. And then negative 3 minus 8. And here I have 3, 7, negative 11. So this is my vector A as well. So now I can write the vector equation as x, y, z equals 2. Now here, since I did point 2 minus point 1, so my point 2 goes here. So I'm going to write point 2 here. So point 2 is 5, 6, negative 3, and plus t, and here my a. So here, these are two methods, and they both are correct. You can choose whichever you want to write, but you have to choose one. You cannot write both. So here. I'm just going to box it. Okay, so these are the two methods that you can use to find the vector equation. So in the first method, what I did is to find A. How did, did I find it here? So I did P2. Oh, in, sorry, in here I did P1 minus P2. And because I used P1 minus P2, so here my initial point has to be P1. But here I used P2 minus P1. So here my initial point has to be P2. Okay, so just remember the uh, what you did with A. So like uh, P2 here, so you put P2 here. But if you use P1, so you put P1 here. Okay, now let's do another example. Okay, now for the same uh, problem, Let's try to find the parametric equation. Parametric 
equation. Okay, in the previous problem, we found these two equations for the vector equation, and I said you can use either one. So let's say I like this one more, and I I prefer to go in, in this direction always, so like I'm going to be doing this every time I'm asked to find a vector equation, so I'm going to use uh, P2 minus P1 and write P2. So this is the equation that I'm choosing, the second one. And I'm here asked to find the parametric equation. And parametric equation, remember, has to be in the form of x equals to x0 plus at and y equals to y0 plus bt and then z equals to z0 plus ct. And here a, b, c are these. A, B, and C. Okay, here I'm only talking about the second equation because I chose this, but if you choose the first one, so here is it is your A, B, C. So, okay, so these are actually the numbers of vector A that we just found in the previous question. Okay, and here X0, Y0, Z0, these are the initial points. So the initial point here, it, it was P2. So these are my x0, y0, and z0. So here, x0, y0, and z0. Now when I have x, x0, y0, z0, and a, b, c, now it's just plugging into the formula. So parametric equation is for this problem, x equals to 5 plus, and a is 3. So 3ty equals to 6 plus 7t and z equals to negative 3 plus um, minus 11t. So this is my parametric equation. Wasn't it simple? Okay, so let's see if you guys want to choose the first one. So if you guys choose the first one, you can also write the parametric equation of that. So x0, y0, z0, a, b, c. So then x equals to x0 and negative 3t, y equals to negative 1, negative 7t, z equals to 8, negative um, it's sorry not negative positive positive 11 okay and this is it the answer